So many of us saw the trailer yesterday where Martel was upset that Marceau had mentioned him in an interview and he wanted to know why Marceau would fix his mouth to say something about his revenge P charge. And we hear Marceau say that he doesn't have any respect for Martel um, and that every time he opens his mouth about Marceau that he's going to be talking about Martel. Martel says, well, I don't ever say anything about you. Well, then Martel mentions something about the dude co and then proceeds to blurt out that the bees that him and Marceau had screwed together. He said, I'm not saying anything about that. And then proceeds to throw Tisha under the bus and say she used to screw his boy. Now, in the midst of all of this, we hear Kimmy holler, Martel. <laughs> And I'm thinking to myself, Kimmy, you might want to be quiet before Martel uh, busts Maurice out and tells what he's been doing with the linebackers. But anyway, this whole particular scene, it just made me laugh because I thought Martel is at a point in his life where he ain't got nothing to lose except maybe the 30 days that he might be doing um, in jail after he goes through this appeal process for this revenge P charge. Um, but let's take a listen to what they had to say in that scene. And then let's talk about what triggered Martel um, to come at Marceau this way. Marceau did an interview by his saying, I'm like, why would this dude even fix his mouth to say something about my charge. So what's the problem with you then? Every time he opens his mouth to say something about Marceau, he gonna be talking about Martel. I ain't never say about Marceau you. Tell you about talking what about? Marceau knows about Martel. I'm okay. telling you right now, I don't have no respect for you. Okay, you a it's bitch ass. Like, it's like dude code, and it's like bitches that we <laughs> together. I'm not saying nothing about it. Oh, we've never you been together. Where the bitches at, Martel? Let me see. Cheers to my boy. What's that? Go ahead and set your shit. And I'm gonna shake my big fella. Keep going, big fella. So Letitia standing up there asking for pictures. Come on, Letitia. Even if you had a picture, you would say that that wasn't your husband. But after Martel busted her out and said that she was messing around with one of his boys, the look on Tisha's face was priceless. Um, but let's get into this interview that triggered Martel um, that Marso had with uh, Dustin. Yeah, it's interesting um, relationships on this show and, and just kind of some of the choices and decision making that we see. It just it sparks a lot of conversation. And we saw that you and your brother Maurice had went to kind of have a, a intervention style conversation with Martel in the mm -hmm. investment property that he built. Um, mm -hmm. Martel has done a lot of, of um, things in his tenure on the show that that are conversation worthy. But I think this is one of the first times that we just saw a straight up like, yo, we got to go talk to Martel. What's going on? What was it about this most recent situation regarding his arrest that kind of made you and your brother say, look, we got to go check in on him and just like help him to see, you know, what this looks like from our yeah. people. Well, you know what? And, and that honestly goes back to um, Martel talking about you kind of me and female tendencies, because mm -hmm. this is exactly how Martel is fighting. And mm -hmm. Martel is is fighting a female with recordings and tell-alls and accusations and trying to take her kids and revenge porn and things like that. And, and, and to me is that no matter how I see, this is my unbiased opinion, right. that, you know, Mel and I haven't had the best relationship right. um, in, in the past. And, but right is right and wrong is wrong. And, and there's, to me, to me, there's nothing. Well, I imagine there's something, but, but the lowest of the lows, is taking your then wife in the most intimate moment yeah. that you can have, the most vulnerable and sharing moment that you could have, and her trusting and giving you that, uh, you know, that tape or whatever. Yeah, and then you kind of weaponize that, and like you know, I I, I can't think, I can't think of of, of something lower at yeah. that point right there. And you're never going to win. And even someone that thinks like that at that point right there, like I lost respect. Yeah. I lost respect at that point. And, and so now my thing is like, th th there, there's some things that people do that you can understand and you can cope with, but there's a level that people decide that they want to go to that. I just can't, I can't get down with that. Yeah. I can't get down with that because anybody that would do that in that moment, 
That means that anything I've ever had that I could ever use against you, I'll use in your most vulnerable state if you push me to that. And I got some people, me and my brother got in the fights all the time. Mm -hmm. We don't hit in the face. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got to have a line. You mm -hmm. got to have a line. And the line is nothing to do with them. The line is about who you are as a man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so my thing was with him, I think that I tried to tell him, and I've tried to tell him over and over and over before when I wanted him to understand and get it. But at this point right now, um, life will teach you. Yeah. Life will teach you. Life will teach you. Life will teach you that that there actually is a place in society for people who want to send pornographic pictures of their ex wives out. There's a place for those people. Yeah, there, there, there's yeah. a place that you can you can act you can actually sit down and think about those decisions. <laughs> yeah, what's that place? <laughs> there's, there's there's time for you to think about that stuff. There's a reflection place. Right? Uh -huh. There's a reflection place. Uh -huh. And when a you think go to those places, uh -huh. yeah, it's a little think tank. Yeah. There's a place that Maybe I didn't get through to you. Maybe you need your thoughts in this little comfortable concrete place. Mm -hmm. And that kind of stuff figures it out because yeah. you can't do that. Yeah. Now, I think what triggered Martel was just the simple fact that Marceau was telling the truth. Uh, Martel still once again never knows how to take accountability for his actions, for the, you know, the things that he says and he does. Martel just doesn't get it. And it's almost no different than him not getting that builder's license with an open book for the test. So drop down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts about what was said in the trailer, what Martel said about him and Marceau. And what are your thoughts about him blasting Tisha? I mean, like I said, I feel like he just feels like he has nothing to lose. Um, but let me know your thoughts, you guys. And as always, I thank you all for watching and listening. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Please give this one a thumbs up and be sure to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update from what's happening. <laughs>